Hi! In this little video, we're going to talk about bacterial morphology and organization. So remember the root morph means shape. So we're talking about the shape of individual bacteria. And organization means what sort of groups do those bacteria grow in. Okay, so individual bacteria and then groups that we see like on a microscope. So first up we have what are called the cocci. That is the plural form. And coccus is the singular form. So this word comes from the Greek root word for grape. So when you're trying to remember what shape is a coccus, think grape. You can see these very nice round bacteria over here in our picture of Staphylococcus aureus. You've probably heard of Staphylococcus aureus before. You've probably heard of MRSA, methicillin resistant Staph aureus. We also have these bacteria over here that belong to the species Streptococcus pyogenes. You've probably heard of this one. You've probably had this one if you've ever had strep throat. And when we look at the names of both of these genus, we have Staphylococcus and we have Streptococcus. And those are descriptive of the groupings that these bacteria grow in. So Staphylo means clusters irregular clusters. So this is really like a big bunch of grapes. If we were gonna draw it, I would draw it something like this with no symmetry, no real rhyme or reason for why the bacteria are in any particular place. Strepto on the other hand, if you look at the picture, you can probably guess what it means. It means chains. So these grow in chains of varying lengths. Some are short, some are long enough that they bend over. So streptococcus means chain of coccus. There are two other organizations um, that we can see with our cocci. Sometimes we will see diplococci, which as you can imagine, these are two cocci stuck together, just two, very, very short chains. Um, and there's also what's called tetrads, which are four bacteria, kind of like this, and the sarcine, which I cannot really draw y'all. It's like a, it's like a, cube. It's like two tetrads stacked on top of each other to make a sort of cube. You see, I can't draw that. That's terrible. Cube. So Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Diplococci, those are the most common ones. Next up, we have the shape, the bacilli. Again, bacilli is plural. Bacillus is singular. These are described as rod-shaped. That's the best way to think of them. They're elongated, they're rod-shaped bacteria. You can see it really nicely in our picture of E. coli over here. We've got these nice long uh, bacteria. Now you've all heard of E. coli. You may have also heard of Bacillus anthracis. See, this whole genus tells you what it looks like. This is what causes anthrax. So bacilli are usually found as single bacteria. Sometimes we can find them as diplobacilli, and occasionally a few um, genus and species can be found as streptobacilli. We don't tend to see like staphylobacilli or anything like that. Uh, so if we look at our E. coli, you can see they're mostly just single bacteria. We do have a few like this one right here where it looks like it's a diplobacillus. This is actually just a bacteria that hasn't completely finished dividing. And once it does, it will pop off and we'll get two. Over here with our bacillus anthracis, we actually have one, two, three bacteria linked together. So this one is a streptobacilli. Now there's a lot of fun shaped bacteria too. We have what are called the vibrios. These are generally described as curved rod. They're also sometimes referred to as comma shaped. So whichever of those helps you remember it. Here we have a picture of Vibrio uh, cholerae, which causes cholera. And this one right here is particularly nice. You can see it's a nice curve to it. These are always single. We don't have any sort of like strepto Vibrio. They're always single. And then my personal favorite are the really spirally ones. The general term that we use for those is the spirochetes. So we have a picture of Treponema pallidum over here, and you can see it has multiple curves in this one bacteria. Those that are really tightly cur tightly rolled are like little corkscrew bacteria. We can attempt to draw them like this. And then there are others that are more loosely curved, and they maybe just kind of go like that, right? So they're not as spirally. But we, all, we lump them all together and call them the spirochetes. Like with the Vibrio, these guys are always a single bacteria. They never really grow in groups. Okay, we also have some um, that come in a variety of shapes, like this one up top. We call these bacteria pleomorphic. 
So plio means many, and more, if you remember, means shaped. So many shapes. And if we look at the picture of this bacteria, you can see that some are really long, some are teeny tiny little dots like over here, and then some are just kind of like weird shaped altogether, many shapes. Usually these that have many shapes, they lack a cell wall. So they don't have that cell wall to provide them the structure of a shape. Hyphae are another thing that bacteria can produce. You can see those hyphae as these little filaments out here. Not all bacteria make these, only a few, usually those that we find in soil. And then the final one is the trichromes. Let me draw an arrow pointing at these various things. So the trichromes are stacked. You may have looked at some of these under a microscope in your intro lab. If we look for individual bacteria, I'm gonna put kind of a dot next to them. You can see here's a bunch of individual bacteria and they are stacking up with each other to form this long sort of tube-like filamentous shape. Okay, let's do just a quick rapid review. First, we have the cocci. Those can be streptococci, staphylococci, or diplococci. Next were the bacilli. Usually single individual cells it can be diplo or strepto. The vibrios were the curved rods. Spirochetes were our super spirally ones. Pleomorphs could have many shapes because they lacked a cell wall. Some bacteria formed hyphae. And last but not least, we had our trichromes, those stacked bacteria that made filaments. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one.